Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Alisa Tropical Fruit Tree. So today just would like to update early of spring, second spring coming. So would like to show you how's my garden at the backyard going guys. And I very hope you will enjoy my video. And thank you for watching. <laughs> so my first one would like to show you is my uh, white support we call a uh, lemon gold. And the tree have been one year exactly because I've been transferred them in last year was August. So now one year a little bit, yes. Yeah. So the tree already have a fruit last year. And early this summer, this one is like a whole year around of crops. Well. So that's a fruiting, guys. I am very excited to test them again. But to bell, the fruit's not a very big. They are small smaller than the lemon go everything but look look at the flower it was crazy on the suit bell is that a beautiful very nice it was everywhere guys and i think you cannot buy this fruit in a supermarket at all because the fruit it's easy to go um uh bruise because they are very soft and yeah and I love them you love sweet and a bit of creamy it's like a smoothie so if you guys love sweet so the tree is good for you to grow guys and because uh, they're so easy to grow in Melbourne and they love the, the cold weather too they they okay I have five I have five white support tea, so I have a suit bell by supporting suit bell i have a lemon gold i have a kampong i have a wilson and i have a samada so i have five and all doing so well guys they're growing very fast too that's why i would like to show you you will like fruit tree please try to grow this guy because they don't have they don't take much time from you to take care they're so easy to grow guys and flower was crazy but i very hope they uh, have some fruit because they flower a bit too early whole winter they flower and still flowers nothing uh fruiting yet nothing whole yet so i uh, very hope i get some fruit more than last year guys and I have one fruit from here then they're falling because too cold but it doesn't matter i still have a chain <laughs> So that's my suit bell. So over there is my KP mango in the ground, doing very well. Our winter, they still are very good. Some die back a little bit, so don't worry about this. They're from last year. And I just leave it, I should cut it off. And look at the new growth. There's a new growth from the whole old winter. And the new lamb coming. I got there's a flower. I'm not sure they have a flower and fruit last year. This one died back a little bit. So this one, my KP mango in the ground, guy. Tree looks very healthy, look happy, looks all right. <clears throat> See, that's what I would love to inspire you for uh, mango. Oh, you love mango? I've been put this one uh, over a year now. Yes, yeah, about a year or over a year a bit. And the tree doing very healthy. And over there is a KP mango too, in the ground. It's very good, right? It looks very happy. And look at, if you look closer, right? So this is a new growth. <clears throat> Nothing protect at all, guys. And yeah, a lot of new growth coming. So exciting, this one have a fruit last year. Then um, I'm sure they will have a fruit this year again. But guys, I have some <coughs> like an uh, insect in the tree. I don't know what I have to do with that. Look, they took all over my tree now. My partner been using uh, eco oil, but it doesn't work. Maybe try again. <coughs> <coughs> so that's my KP mango doing a very good, guys. And I um, would like to show you one more. I have another KP mango in the ground. Look like they are doing good. And this one is my KP mango as well in the ground. This year I let it go too far. Then I lost some tree on my mango in the pot. But the one in the ground doing very good guys. 
so yeah a little bit sad but it's okay we learn <laughs> we always learn because i'm still very new for the gardening guys and there's mango they try very hard so this all my kp mango in the ground they're doing it good i see some little lamb coming look it's frost but look at it here that's all right some die but it will be the new one coming to place them mm. not for sure guy look like not the best look here but we will see okay i hope i don't lost this guy but look at the trunk it's okay i have to in one tree there are two trunks And here's okay too, just only up there is a bit of brown. But <coughs> BSC is okay. And yeah, I have more kid mango over there. They're doing a very good. That one no fruit and this one have a fruit. So this is my kid mango too, you see guys, that's a fruit. Very amazing. So this is in Melbourne. We just out of winter it's super cold still even now spring two weeks coming two weeks spring but the weather is still very cold i think last night only two degrees and the night before too so very hard for my tree right <laughs> and yeah so behind the kp mango is a custard apple it's look very tall you see like two meters the same tour of the fan so there's a two meter my cousin apple we call it a pax and prolific i have two the same variety in the ground because this variety fruit is very big and they are very sweet when the season coming are very nice but nothing moving yet but the trees still look very healthy guy look like the leaves not go anywhere and behind that i have a Red Malaysian guava and the tree trunk getting big as well. This one I transfer uh, early this summer. I think I'm, I'm can't remember, but I'm sure around summer I put them in the ground. And this is my red Malaysia guava doing a very good, guys. I forgot to film for you. I pink all the tip the end. So let them grow more bushier and more flower when you pull it out. Look like the leaves started going away a bit and the new coming. Nice, isn't it? That's a new one. Then here too. So yeah, I'm I'm pin I'm pin all the new the the end of the guava. So I want the tree a little bit bushy. It looks very bushy, right? But I want more bushier. <clears throat> so I'm excited to take this one. But I don't know, guys, with the uh, Malaysian red guava, are they changing the color or not? Uh, this one, is it time to try it? I don't know about guava. I know the Thai guava or Indian guava. When skin like this, you can't eat it. You have you eat them with sauce and chili pound together. <laughs> it's yum. Therefore, Asian snack. All right, guys. So I got more tree to show you, and this is my main go-to because kiss away. Doing very good this one. Look, amazing, right? Kiss away, and they are in the pot. This one, and so this one next door here is my uh, the same packs and prolific. It's in the pot. We just ordered not long ago, guys. See how when we order them, but the stick very small, and after one year you transfer them in the ground, so become like this, guys. Very big. <sighs> I don't know when I see in the window and outside, outside was much much bigger in real life. So that's my two packs and prolific, and this is my three packs and prolific, but this one is in the ground. 
we trample them similar time the tree a lot bigger and the tree was so sad last year winter i guess early summer they have a big wind and break my big brand very big like the whole thing have tree gone here <laughs> And the packs them probably fake. Ever uh, cast that apple, the tree doing very well during the winter time. So guys, see this all I would love to show you. If you love cast that apple, you can grow in Melbourne. With us, climate is very cold, but they do handle okay with the cold weather. So if you love fruit tree, especially cast that apple, yeah, why not you can? If I can, you can too, right? So yeah, we try to grow all the trees so it's good for the for the air as well, or for all the air as well, right? <laughs> well, I so so because the tree it's it's keep you clean and the dust everything. Anyway, I'm not very good to explain that, but yeah. So that's my longin. My longin was in the pot, right? And I give them a ring. We got the ring from the bunning and this one we call a uh, kohala longin tree extremely healthy super healthy guy and look it's more stem look at this so beautiful i love the leaf looking so so stunning very stunning guy and the growing on the top here as well look beautiful I lost two fruit. I got only two fruit left now. <laughs> so only two and a half. All these guys pass to summer. Then I can try. I don't know when I can have it. But the fruit a lot bigger now. I got two. Hopefully they doing good. Beautiful. So that's east. So that's a sunrise. So very good. So fresh to the sunrise. And they're doing very well. I always forgot this one because I have no idea. I always forgot, guys, to show you. So this is my uh, sweet tamarind. Nothing moving yet. And I very hope this guy is still, still alive. I don't know. Because this year, the weather is super cold. Much colder than last year. And yeah, that's my sweet tamarind. Whenever, when they start moving the leaf, I would like to show you again what's going on with my garden at the backyard guy and remember the, this all my uh, seedling avocado i was transferred not long ago i think on maybe three four days ago i, I have to shake all the soil off from the because i use the backyard soil so i'm thinking okay that's no good is i do grafting so i change to a premium potting mix and then look like the tree happy with the soil again and extremely healthy look guys so this is my seedling one years old exactly and behind there is my uh jackfruit and chamber deck this doesn't look good right look like a toast look like a burn but you know what guys we are in victoria we in melbourne the weather was very cold but the good thing is i don't mind the least burn at least the trunk is still very good and green, right? It's still very good. And look at this. So this winter time, our winter, the tree is still doing a good. So that's a very lucky, right? And he also, that's one in a pot, my jackfruit. And this one jackfruit also. But this one is in the ground, guys. Look at this. Beautiful and stunning. And the leaf was burned, but it's okay yeah and the tree i lost on the top because you know what the snail see here snail eat my jackfruit only coming out the skeleton they eat all the skin bad is that but okay i lost maybe it's about here up and here still look very green it look closer right you look closer that's still very green here we go i don't want to scratch my tree i know they're still green only uh see that's still green here but look like that gets stretchy here anyway i mine lost maybe half from here but it's okay next year i will give them a proper protect 
and if you look back to my uh, jumper deck jumper deck the tip a little bit burn but look trees very healthy right it's very green the stem the trunk is super green i try to put clear but it's not a very clear set of see very green and the tree much grow bigger than uh, early this summer guy i can't believe it and you see the trunk the stem here it's very green so it, it's okay the least bird that will come back and they got another new trunk and look at that super good i'm so happy with my chamber deck guys I hope I can grow my jumper deck because I love them so much. Do you know how much I eat when I'm going back to my country, guy? I eat till I can't walk. That's how uh, how much I love them. My phone can't be concentrated, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So that's a jumper deck. I love them so much. I went to my country because they sell like a dollar a kilo, but the whole thing like that. I eat every day for the whole juice for the whole time i went holiday i eat all the time till i'm get very sick with it but i still love them <laughs> it's my top favorite food guy look at like i show you my avocado doing a very good in us climate so nice boy oh yo this one this one died that's a avocado seedling but if you look at the bottom trunk super green okay that's why i'm not chuck them i just leave it let's see how they go when they grow in proper stronger got a new trunk and i cut and i grab him yeah and this one we call a uh, candy member guy uh we call wine a uh, tamarind wine something candy member <coughs> this one normally we have them with a rice noodle fish soup it's my favorite they start coming in new grow again here beautiful see very nice and this next store is my uh lamb house avocado was in the ground trees super dark green and super healthy guy i transferred them maybe uh early this year and the trunk was small but now look very big and getting a little bark too very happy for this one and <clears throat> the tree was flower and this one my red avocado was in the ground too guys i just transferred them the same time with this one probably early this year too and the tree looks super dark green that's mean the trees are very happy right and i'm very happy too it said i lost one a red avocado the bigger one with the fruit but again i got three back up <laughs> so i'm still very happy but i still is i can't chew i would like my tree come back guys and this one is my lamb hair this one have a long story guys this i have three trees this summer i mean last summer and i put under the pagola and then they get burned because they reflect from the glass i have a glass and then the sun was shy to the glass and the glass was hit the trunk and now they get very badly burned that's why i said i have three in the ground then one is very bad look but the two good and not only that they very badly burn right but the flower and growing super healthy dark green i can't believe it <clears throat> it's so incredible right so i think the tree that love me doesn't want to go everywhere <laughs> see guys so if you love fruit tree please please get them to go they're easy to grow especially avocado and checks my hot plum a lot of die back nothing moving yet and my hot plum is in the ground and i still have my uh thai guava in the pot as well one more and i have a man guava oh i have so many guava guys i love guava too much but i feel like too much now too much now the guava and this my uh custard apple we call african price 
remember guys so this one dead because the list all toes like this that all come off but again look they are got a new new growth coming here my camera is not a very good right not a clear and here also new grow guys that's it beautiful and you just look everywhere it's a new one coming so the tree still survive look so everywhere they moving so it's just very exciting so i think i already show you all my tropical fruit area and i have my uh, <coughs> uh blueberry they call sunshine i got only one last year have a lot of fruit but all the birds took it all right so i see a little bit more to show you here guys because i this is my uh part two of my backyard right so this is my um has avocado was in the ground too right very healthy and uh, very tall like over two meter tall now and the tree no flower last year but this year they got a flower very good look it's everywhere and here too amazing it's very amazing guy i am super exciting for all the trees to see growing and i can't wait to see when they are uh, forming the fruit and i have at the back here is my first one is my um nashi pear my partner love them we have three two at the front and one at the back and look at the flowers growing a lot moving a lot we love nashi pear guys so beautiful exciting and my banana trees looks like a dead can't wait oh guy i got i show something look at a new one coming out of my banana <laughs> look like that right look and i should look at it new grow oh amazing amazing guy exciting for that huh coming i can't wait for the new grow coming then i know that uh, they are still survive yeah and i got a lot of volunteer seedling avocado coming around because i checked my uh chicken west around here like uh, uh because banana they love all the they love all the the veggie everything like all the chicken I mean chicken kitchen west so i checked to the area so banana love them and this is my Uh, my apple sweet cheek not much moving at all beautiful right very nice it's not much moving so this is what I'm talking about too this is my lamp hair the burn but it's very good very good and flower too amazing right beautiful guy exciting for that I have like nine banana at the moment and we can't wait to see the pop coming <laughs> and this is my lemonade lemon they're not sour guys they they sweet i can't cook with this one and a lot of new growth wow beautiful it's very exciting pop look at this oh my i'm so happy guys fruit everywhere flower coming a lot a lot of flower and new grow heap so this summer coming will be very bushy look at that amazing amazing this is my banana oh look at this burn a bit the end but the tree still survives okay this is my pink lady apple new grow coming my phone start playing up a bit this one the faster one in three three i have so this one a faster one i have a pink lady at the front too 
and at the back there is my lemongrass my garlic i planted them last year august my chocos some herb over there and uh, here's herb too a lot of herb i grow guys they're growing very good oh wow look at this amazing i love the herb that's my top favorite no, nice and my guava pineapple guava guy pineapple guava start moving too here you go <clears throat> and i believe some is a flower is you look closer right so here the flower daddy flower right yeah daddy so start moving and here too flower coming i give them a lot of butcher guy and that's my yakon i put it here last time i dig it out from here i have one big fruit and a lot of root soil i've just put there because that one's so easy to grow and i took off all the fruit from my uh, imperial mandarin so let them grow took all the fruit because i don't know what is my fruit so it could be a rat could be a possum or could be a bird so i just take it off and i pass through some to my friend too at work and now you see it we cook all the tree now don't have to have a stretch give to uh, the fruit energy so instead they give to the fruit they give to the tree and then a lot of flower coming guy you see closer look flower everywhere everywhere this year i believe i have so much fruit coming and this is my honey maruko tree heap of flower and heap of growth too i think all my citrus doing so well and the fruit here getting a lot bigger guys the fruit in the little small tree like that the, the fruit over 30 i counting last video it's not a very big right but tall very tall two meter tall already and next door here i have a red avocado beautiful it's in the ground they are flower too. Here we go. Flower coming. I'm so excited for when the when the tree are uh, holding the fruit. I think around November and of November they will forming the fruit. This exciting part, guy. And the next door I have a lemon tree in the pot, and so my flower. It's crazy flower, guy. Oh look at this, heating. <laughs> all right guys that's all would love to show you this is my uh part two of my backyard video and i very hope you guys enjoy my video guys and uh, thank you for watching and i would like to see you my next video guys bye